A few of you catching a couple of light showers this evening. We still have a couple of showers up the road up I-95 in a part of Caroline, Spotsylvania, and then over towards the northern neck. These are going in that direction, so not into the metro. In fact, clouds are broken up. You can even see a sliver of the moon out there tonight here in the metro area, but the clouds will thicken back up as another upper level disturbance comes in tomorrow morning. So we have a few showers to begin the new week. Temperatures are going to be up and down this week. The warmest day is likely to be Tuesday with some of that warmth hanging around into Wednesday, then a strong cold front is going to bring a charge of chilly weather Thursday into Friday. I mentioned a couple of showers to start the week. That's tomorrow morning, especially in the metro and then shifting south during the afternoon. And then Wednesday, that cold front that comes in will bring a few more showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder. Looking ahead to next weekend, it could be a bit unsettled. It looks like clouds will increase on Saturday near seasonable temperatures. I think most of Saturday may end up being dry, but by evening we may see some showers that could linger into at least a portion of next Sunday. Here are some high temperatures across the country today. and A lot of folks all the way across the lower 48 in the 60s or 70s. Miami was near 90 today. Also some pretty warm weather along the west coast up in Portland, Oregon. 83 degrees this afternoon. 54 right now here in Richmond. The breeze is light out of the east southeast. The dew point has actually come up a little bit, so all that dry air with these showers coming in, uh, the air has moistened up a little bit more, and so it's I wouldn't say humid, but just a little more moisture in the air tonight. Overnight lows in the mid and upper 40s. A few readings in the lower 40s off to the northwest. Highs tomorrow in the mid and upper 60s again, which is a little bit below normal for this time of the year. Normal high is in the low 70s. As I mentioned, warmest day of the week is going to be on Tuesday. I think we get up to about 75 or a little better in a few places. Still warm on Wednesday, but there's that charge of colder weather on Thursday. The key will be the mornings. We'll start in the 30s, I think, Thursday and Friday mornings. And if the wind lightens up enough, we may see some patches of frost out there. Clouds will fill back in overnight and notice here by six o'clock in the morning. A few showers, they'll move across the region as we head through the morning hours. By midday, most of it's over in the metro. I think it starts to shift more towards the southeast and skies may actually brighten up a little bit here in the afternoon, setting us up for a nice day on Tuesday. Then we'll track the front coming in from the west on Wednesday. Notice a little snow up to the north. We'll just see a few showers coming on through and the chilly weather to follow to finish out the week. So overnight 47 in RVA, lower 40s in a few places north and west. An isolated shower mainly to the north of Richmond over the next few hours. Otherwise very cloudy, but then the rain comes in by daybreak. Just some showers, not a heavy rain, but showers around at times scattered about through midday. Rain chances will come down in the afternoon with a high about 67 degrees. The skies brighten up a bit. A lot of sunshine on Tuesday, mid 70s, real nice day. Cold front comes in on Wednesday with some showers. There's the chilly weather the end of the week down into the 30s Thursday and Friday morning.